Hey everyone, Julian here, and let's go over member scripts number eight and nine. So we're going to start with eight just because it is super simple, not a whole lot to digest, and then we're going to move on to nine, which is quite a bit more complex. So first things first, let's talk about eight. Eight is just a simple copy to clipboard. So if we take a look at this, for example, we have a little coupon code here. We click it, it's going to copy to clipboard. And then this interaction here where it turns green, that is done with Webflow interaction. So do whatever you want to visually let your users know. But how do we make that happen? So first of all, you're going to want to get the member scripts eight code, which is right here in the demo project and also on the site. And you're going to just want to copy over that. And then we have two different attributes. So first things first is what we're actually clicking. And the attribute for that is ms-code-copy equals trigger. And then we have the subject. So this is what we actually want to copy, which in this case is the coupon code. And we have ms-code-copy equals subject. That's it. If you have that, you should be good to go. It should be working perfectly fine. Now let's get into number nine. So what we want to do here is the following. We want to be able to set a amount of time. And when a user opens the page, it is going to then go, all right, they've opened the page and X time, whatever you set, they have this long before the element goes away. In this case, it is a limited time coupon offer. So let's just take a look and go ahead and open this. What we can see here is it is counting down. Also, I can go ahead and copy that. And it's just going to keep on copying down or counting down while we're waiting for this. Let's take a look over here, what we have set up in Webflow. We have four different text spans and we've got ms-code-time-hour-minute-second and dash millisecond. So you can set all of these if you want it to get very specific, hours, minutes, seconds, whatever you want. But let's just say like in this case, I want it to be two minutes. I'm just gonna set minute to two and the others are going to be blank attributes. Let's go ahead and check on where we're at over here. We have a minute left. So let's go ahead and look at the code. And as always with these member scripts, you are not going to need to edit anything. Simply copy this entire number nine. It's quite long. What it's doing is it's getting the date based on the values that you set in the current date. And then it is actually storing in the local storage over here, that date, which is here. And that is what it's counting down from. So even if I refresh this, for example, or we got to be fast so that we can actually see it in action, go ahead and close it and open it on my browser. This is going to remain. And when it's gone, it is gone. That's it. So this is good. That way when users, you know, refresh and come back, they're not going to see it and go, this is a fake countdown. You know, I could just refresh it and get it back. It's actually a real countdown that is going to block them from this coupon code, which I better copy quickly because this thing is just going to disappear on me in about 13 seconds. Um, and then, yeah, so this is a real functional proper countdown that is going to invoke urgency in three, two, one, what's going to happen? Gone. Any item with the following attribute applied, which is the pop-up in this case, ms-code-countdown equals hide-on-end. Anything with this applied. So my example is a pop-up with a coupon code. Yours could be absolutely anything. You don't even need to show them the time. If, for example, you want them to, when they sign up, you want them to only be able to complete the onboarding in 10 minutes or it's going to go away, you can do that too. All you need to do is use the script, set some spans to with the following attributes to show the amount of time, and then set your attributes like so to hide whatever elements. And also just to mention, this is not only going to hide them, it is going to remove them from the DOM completely. So that's about it. If you have any questions, let me know in the 2.0 Slack or julian at memberstack.com. And I hope to hear from you soon. Enjoy this one. Take it easy. Bye.